Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you all how to grow Tulsi plant from cuttings. Tulsi plant is a medicinal plant. This plant is very useful, so you need to have at least one plant grown in your home. Now I will show you all how to get many such plants from a single plant. So here are the things that you will require. Here I am taking normal sand, a container with drainage holes at the bottom, a pair of scissors, a water sprayer and a tulsi branch. Make sure you choose a tender branch which looks green in color. Take about 5 to 6 inch cuttings just below the node region. The node region is where the new leaves arrive. Make sure the shoots do not have flowers on them. Take a sharp scissor or cutter to cut the stems. Remove most of the leaves so that the energy goes to the formation of the roots. Now fill the container with sand. Make sure you wash the sand properly to avoid impurities and fungal growth. You can use any type of sand, river sand or sand that is found at the seashore. After filling the sand, make some holes so that you can insert the cuttings. Now insert each cutting in each hole. Put the cuttings at least 2 inches in depth. Now water it gently with the help of a sprayer. Now I am showing you this result after 12 days. Normally roots appear after 8 to 10 days. Remove the plants gently. Do not damage the root system. See how well the roots have formed without adding any fertilizer. Do not add any fertilizer while propagating the plants. I had grown 4 cuttings. Out of the 4 cuttings, only 3 have grown well. One got pulled out. While propagating these plants, keep the plants in a moist area. Do not keep them in a sunny area. Now I will be growing each plant in a small 4 inch pot. Here now I will be using normal garden soil to grow these plants. In case if your soil is too stiff or hard then make 30% sand. Do not add any fertilizers till now because the roots are not that strong. Tap the soil so that there are no air bubbles. After you have grown these plants, keep them in a shaded region. Make sure you water them only when the top soil dries off. You can use coco peat as your potting mix.